Hello everyone, just Goran here and welcome back to another quick tricks tutorial. If you're anything like me, you like making custom things and sometimes those custom things involve barriers. And if that's the case, you might sometimes come across the following issue. I've built something, I want to edit it, but all I am selecting is the barrier because the barrier has a bigger hitbox than the thing I built. So how do I now select the thing I built to edit it? Well, it is actually very, very simple. All you have to do is open the multi-selection tool. So either you hit this button or you hit the I key on your keyboard to open multi-select. And now using the multi-select tool, you can actually click that thing that you've built. But of course, there still is no way to edit it right now. Uh, so what you can do is either move it out of the barrier and now you can edit it as normal and then later you can move it back. Or if you don't want to move it because it's for some reason too difficult to move it back into the barrier, what you can do is go into multi-select, hit that thing, let's, let's do this one, <laughs> uh, and you're going to press move or you're going to press advanced move, doesn't really matter. Um, just either move or advanced move and then hit escape to cancel your moving. And right now, as you can see, we are no longer in the multi-select mode. We've just selected a group as normal and we can go into group edit mode. So now we have got our group in the exact same spot inside the barrier and we are editing it. So we still can't select any of the items we put down, but we can click and drag to select them. And now we can edit our group uh, as much as we want. So yeah, that is how you can select and edit uh, building objects suck inside of a barrier. Hope this was useful to you. If it was, uh, good. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Goodbye.